it is about 6 a.m. on a Friday. I just brought in some horses and got stung by a wasp again. It got me last night. I was really not that mad that it stung me last night because I thought wasps died after they sting you. No, they don't. I'm pretty sure it was the same wasp that got me again this morning. We are going to be at home today schooling and getting some stuff done for the horse show tomorrow. Tomorrow we're just going over to a little show that is close to us. Pablo and Marco are going. Pablo is going for Erilyn to do her first show on. She's gonna do ground poles with him. And then I was gonna take Marco and just do two foot and like just get him in the ring because he's not been to a horse show in like six or seven months or actually probably longer than that i don't really remember the last time he was at a horse show so it's been a while and he kind of just needs to get out and you know see the world again and then we decided that riley could just come with us too so now riley's probably gonna do cross rails on him but we'll see she's gonna jump him today and we'll kind of base what she's doing tomorrow on how it goes with him today i am about to head in riley just got bits and we're gonna start getting him ready i would like to jump him this morning we've got a lot to do i cannot guarantee how much i will vlog because really the priority is just getting through everything that needs done as quickly as possible because it is crazy hot out. We've been getting through as many horses as we possibly can in the morning and then like taking the afternoon off. So we've been going down to the pool. and just laying inside in the air conditioning and taking naps so priority is just getting through what we can and then this evening we'll come back and finish it up Tried to jump in this morning, didn't go very well. It is currently storming. No rain yet, but it is very windy and very dusty. And I got off just in time. I finally gave up that it wasn't going to work out. And as soon as I got off, all the jumps started falling down. There goes another jump. Today already sucks. Got stung by a wasp. Tried to jump my horse. It decided to storm. Ugh. Jump still standing. Today was the wrong day to wear a tank top because it's kind of cold out. Why are you trying to hide? It is 9 a.m. I woke her up for the second time today. We both took a little nap while the weather decided to ruin my life. Well, it didn't really ruin your life. It kind of did. But I had this. I had this wonderful plan for the day. I didn't tell you I got stung again this morning. That's why I had you take Pablo out because I'm not going back out to that pasture. It's still kind of thundering, but we're gonna try and pick the arena up and. I need to drag because we got some water on it, which we really needed because it was quite dusty and kind of disgusting. And we're going to have to find all the flowers too. I just paid like $100 on those flowers, so we're going to find them all.
we're gonna go try this again. Fitzy was a little bit wild today. He hasn't jumped in a while and he got his stifle injected a few weeks ago so I think he was feeling good and he was pretty happy to be jumping again. It was pretty bad at first but I just kept riding and he eventually found the horse show version of himself and was much calmer and we could actually jump a course. Riley just walked Marco to the ring so I'm gonna get my helmet on and go hop on him. We're gonna jump him around and then Riley is gonna get on him after me to get ready for the horse show tomorrow hopefully this goes better than how my morning has been going because it's been rough today like it's straight up sucked i just want to go lay inside and quit today but i can't exactly do that because i got too much stuff to do He loves this fan so much. It's his favorite. Speaking of Bacardi, here's some video of him jumping a few days ago.
your favorite number? 80 poo. <laughs> uh, we just took like an hour break and ate lunch and like cooled <laughs> off again. Both ponies were pretty good earlier. I'm a little burnt. That hurts just a little bit. My mom got some good <laughs> pictures of Geronimo earlier so I'm gonna show you guys those. If the child behaves she can do cross rails on Marco tomorrow because she did a pretty good job today. Just pretty good. I'm not gonna ah. give you a great. <laughs> if you touch me, you're not showing Marco tomorrow. You'll just go home. Bye bye, Riley. <laughs> I am going to hop on Kane for Erilyn's lesson tonight. She's gonna ride Pablo. That is who she is showing tomorrow. So we're gonna practice more trot pole courses. Also, I'm gonna show you guys some video of Pablo jumping yesterday. It was really good yesterday. It's probably one of the best jump schools I've had on him in a while. Well, probably ever. After Erilyn's lesson, the children are going to clean tack and no. we're gonna get stuff put in the drawer. Yes. I'm taking I still have a farmer's tan. I see it. A what? A farmer's tan. A farmer's I'm a farmer. No, you're not. A farm. A you fart. Plant crops. <laughs> no, you don't. Don't you have fake flowers? For the jumps. What about the ones out there? Those ones are real, they'll die in a week. Can we go take a nap in Napland? No. Why? I know because you... I need to ride. No, you don't. Know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh. All right, go get Kane now. <laughs> don't pull my hair. I'm doing what you do to me. It's different. No, it's not. My hair is expensive. <laughs> and I brushed it like 10 times today, so don't mess it up. Go get paint. Check it out! Can I take a nap? Nobody wants to see Kane's butt.
We're filming your first show. <laughs> Are you excited? In the middle. It will be fun. <laughs> I think he was just being a turd because he needed to pee. Because then he peed and he was back to normal Pablo. Not Pablo trying to run away. That was much, much better, okay? Later, I finally caught up to Riley because she ran away from me. Flashy is getting the day off today because Flashy was a very good boy jumping yesterday. And Riley, I'm gonna regret doing this when I come to edit this video, and this is the only option of how I talked. Riley was able to jump a course on him yesterday, and she didn't have any issues, so that's cool. This is my buddy, he's my best friend. I'm gonna put some video in from last night. We are almost done for the day. After Erilyn was done with all of her stuff, me and Riley went out and reset the entire ring. I dragged it again and all the jumps are set for Roxy. I almost convinced myself to just do Roxy in the morning before we leave for the show, but this is the type of stuff I always do. I always think that I can do something extra in the morning and I know full well that I don't have time to do it. So I, I'm really, really digging down deep right now to get Roxy done today, but I need to, I just need to get it done. Roxy is ready. She's standing out in the ring for me to get on. Poor Riley. Uh -huh. I just wanna sleep and be in air conditioning. Does somebody need a nap? Oh, you need a nap. Don't do that. I'm gonna do keep digging. The holes in my backyard.
I sure am glad I jumped Roxy last night instead of trying to do it this morning because we have 45 minutes to get the horses fed before we need to start loading. So I definitely did not have time to do it this morning. And I mean, I knew that I wouldn't last night, but I sometimes just get really tired and just over it. So I tell myself I'll do something the next day, even though I know that it's also not going to happen the next day. But I held myself accountable and I got it done. Now it is the morning of the show. Hi. Good morning. We almost forgot girths last night. I always look in the tack room at everything, make sure we put everything in the trailer. And then I saw the girths. I was like, yep, we definitely did not put those in the trailer. So good thing i always double check those are going to be pretty important unless the kids want to be riding without saddles good luck we're gonna get the horses fed and then load up and head to the horse show she has to wear my shirt it's my shirt yeah. no it's not yes. you're gonna change clothes before you leave this barn no that's my shirt that's my shirt. Oh, Stephanie. I'm not touching the gate because that's where the wasp hangs out at. Every time I touch the chain that goes around the, the thing, it. Do you have feeling in your legs still? Not really, it hurts. Good. That's the goal. Why can't I feel my legs? Oh, oh God. <laughs>
you hang around horse shows, you'll see some ridiculous stuff. They're playing hide and seek because obviously there's so many hiding spots in a truck. Like, where would she go? She's obviously just still in her seat. But it, maybe it, it shouldn't be a surprise. Wow, I wonder where. <laughs> it is now the next day i wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys about how the show went yesterday because when i got back i was completely exhausted and i slept pretty much the rest of the day and didn't say anything about how the show went so i just want to take some time to do that this morning the show went really well yesterday i'm so happy that Erilyn finally got to do her first show i know she's wanted to do that for a very long time now and she's worked really really hard to get to the point where she was ready to show so i am really really happy for her and proud of her she ended up champion of ground poles and she won two of the classes so it was a very exciting day for her and then marco was champion in both of the divisions he did he was really good for riley doing cross reels it was really a last minute decision to let her show him it was honestly kind of a last minute decision to go to the show in the first place i am really happy with how marco was doing two foot he doesn't have a whole lot of experience doing two foot i think he had a lot of fun doing two foot yesterday honestly i definitely want to show him again i had a lot of fun